day YouTube we're gonna go out to this cook's drawer unit and replace the condenser coil on it sometimes you, they get so compacted with grease and stuff you got to throw the towel in and just change them out so let's get out there and take a look so I went ahead and recovered the charge and I disconnected the unit brought it to the back of the van here and uh, that's the old coil and that's gonna be our new one all nice and clean um, so I'm gonna take this uh, motor mounts off because I want to get the fan blade off and clean it we'll see. I don't know if this compressor is gonna make it we'll see and uh, we'll get into this thing. discharge line cut. I cut it back so I'm just going to bend up a piece to go into the new condenser and then we'll add a, a new piece of 3 8 out to the dryer, the liquid line, the new liquid line dryer. They screw up from the bottom, there's two screws. If you look on the new one you'll see the openings down at the bottom. This is all covered in grease. The new ones come up from the bottom. So that's how you get the coil off. So come down here and there's a couple number three Phillips on the bottom here let's see right there and then right over here then that's how you get this little guy off of there it's covered in grease compacted let's get it off of there take a look okay, and there it is off of there and there's the grease master so I got some cleaning up to do here and then we'll get the new one installed Got the fan blade all washed up um, and the motor mount. I'm gonna add my low side access fitting. I'm gonna braze it in. I got my hose hooked up to my nitrogen. It's the hose I use to blow out drains. I just cut the end off and I stuck it on the quarter inch so it's actually purging. So we can get a purge going on this. Not too shabby. And we'll start getting this back together access raised in now what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna sweat this out so I'm just gonna make a new piece that goes into there but I also want to get I'm gonna use a piece of 3 8 and extend it out to here from for my liquid line dryer so let's get that going okay so I went ahead and upsized my discharge line the original one was quarter inch that's the one I pulled out of there and I used a, a long radius elbow and then some 3 8 soft copper bent it up let it breathe a little bit better only reason I did that was because I already had the 3 8 out for where I'm hooking up my liquid line dryer I'm gonna use a cap tube dryer um, so I upsize that and when you go from steel to copper you got to use the silver solder I didn't I couldn't get the camera anywhere to, to film soldering it but there's my solders and we got the other one down here so I think uh, my next move is I'm going to go in there and put a fitting on the suction. I'm going to weld a fitting on the suction line and back blow the cap tube and see if the cap tube's any good. We'll take a look at that because that's going to be our next step. I don't know why my camera keeps going out of focus, but it does. Huh. There we go. Okay. What am I going to do now is just take an access fitting into the suction line. I'm just going to weld it in temporarily so I can get my nitrogen on and back blow the cap tube. We still got the old dryer on the cap tube. We're gonna cut that. Then we're gonna back below the cap tube and see what shape it's in. Nitro center. Let's crank it open. That's for our pressure test. We 
are swimming. I gotta take those last two racks off back there to get that off to get to the evaporator set swimming in it today. So if you work on one of these trues, I don't even know the model number on this one. It's a TRCB79, so it's drawer unit. You want to get to the evaporator section, you got to pull the drawers out. You got to pull the insert that holds the drawer rails. You got to take the front cover off, then you got to take the lid off, the air baffle. And then now you can get in here to this section. Get some cardboard so you're not swimming in it, but we got to get in there and this thing's mega hammered. Let's go swimming. Okay, so I got my back out. Let's go scuzzle patrol. melted. You can see now from underneath. That's where I breathe. Um, got my rebuild started. We'll get this section back together then we'll work on the condensing unit. Okay, got my pressure test going. So bubbled up everything. Now it's bubbling. So it seems to be holding. And then we'll get her on the back and pump. Rebuilds back together after swimming in it. Team swimmer. Vacuum pump set up. Just got it started. On its way down. Let's get her down and then it takes eight ounces. But since I changed some sizing of the piping and that other dryer, it might take a little more gas. We'll see. Okay, there we are. Here, 35 microns. check the evaporator section you usually get burned anyway so you got to check those that one had mega problems I smell so bad right now like I smell like a combination of sour dead meat and nastiness so good all right well like subscribe thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one